Robin Rihanna Fendi, better known as Drake, and Aubrey Drake Graham Rihanna, have each been engaged with some high-profile sentiments, yet the vast majority of their associations with different big names haven't gathered close to as much consideration as when they chose to attach with one another. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. On paper, the R&B singer and Toronto rapper appeared to be the perfect match, they are both extremely hot, they were both born outside of the United States, and they are both involved in the entertainment industry. Doesn't this sound like the perfect match for the entertainment industry? Wrong. Drake and Rihanna have attempted to show their love and affection for each other throughout their careers, but nothing seems to have worked out as planned. These two have had an on-again, off-again relationship that has no labels and is shrouded in a gray area that cannot be defined. In addition to whiplashing their fans with their relationship's constant ups and downs, it appeared in October 2016 that this couple would officially end their relationship. What's more, as of this composition, a blissful consummation for this pair simply wasn't separated of God's arrangement. Rihanna was seen having an intimate moment with Drake at a bowling alley in New York just a few months after she ended her relationship with Chris Brown, her ex-boyfriend and fellow singer, who had assaulted her violently in February 2009. She had an affair with him throughout the night while sipping apple juice and whiskey. This would turn out to be the first of many times Rihanna and Drake would hook up, and like the rest of their brief encounters, this one would also not last for long. They were really cute together, an observer claimed about their low-key date in May. Despite the fact that the two started seeing each other on a regular basis and Rihanna even requested that Drake write a song for her, which was never released. Rihanna, on the other hand, ultimately decided to end things. In June 2010, Drake stated to the New York Times, I was a pawn. What was she doing to me, do you know? She was doing exactly what I had done to numerous women throughout my life, which was to give them quality time and then vanish. Womp, womp, does it not resemble karma? Rihanna talked about her first breakup with Drake in an interview with radio host Angie Martinez in November 2010. She said, via CNN, we weren't really sure what it was, when she talked about their relationship. Rihanna completely dispelled the notion when the radio host brought up Drake's aforementioned interview with the New York Times, in which he claimed he was treated like a pawn. The singer of Umbrella stated, I think it is what it is, like it was what it was. I was definitely drawn to Drake. We didn't want to go any further with it. I just didn't want to get too serious with anything or anyone at that time because it was during a very fragile period in my life. Oddly enough, Rihanna ended up going public with professional baseball player Matt Kemp less than a year after she said she didn't want to get serious with anyone. However, that relationship didn't last long either. This suggests that Rihanna was aware that Drake was not the one. We can't blame her for moving on, despite the fact that her approach may have been a little rough. Rihanna and Drake were seen kissing in a nightclub in Montreal, Quebec, in July 2011, a year after they broke up with professional baseball player Matt Kemp. Ula. The next year, they made sweet music together in the recording studio, which brought about their coordinated effort on the track, Fare Thee Well. Despite the fact that Rihanna once more put the brakes on a full-blown reconciliation, it appeared as though Aubrey was back and fully active. She must play with our hearts, why? In August 2012, when the singer of, Pour It Up, appeared on Oprah's next chapter, she broke the news that she still had feelings for her controversial ex-boyfriend Chris Brown instead of talking about the rumors that she was dating Drake. We have re-established trust, and that is all. She stated, we probably will always love each other. Rihanna told Oprah Winfrey, absolutely, when she was asked if Brown was her true love. I think he was my first love. He was my first love.